Hello guys, today we'll be talking about Roland Garros and what Nadal will be able to do at this very important tournament. Nadal started this season in an incredible way, kicking things off at the ATP 250 tournament in Melbourne where he won the 89th trophy of his career. He continued his winning streak on the same courts, however this time at the first Grand Slam of the season the Australian Open. Nadal managed to secure his 21st Grand Slam title after an incredible turnaround against Medvedev. Truly a remarkable athlete. After a very successful mission in the land of the kangaroos, Nadal won a third title in a row on the hard court in 2020, this time in Acapulco. After this, on his way to the finals of the Indian Wells Masters, he managed to beat two tough opponents, Nick Kyrgios and Carlos Alcaraz. However, the Spanish player did not manage to snatch the title since he was suffering from a rib injury in the final. Due to his injury, Nadal was forced to take a break and skip some of his favorite tournaments on clay. Unfortunately, he did not compete in the Monte Carlo Masters at the tournament in Barcelona. He was back on home ground at the Madrid Masters where he lost in the quarterfinals to the young and up-and-coming superstar Carlos Alcaraz. Rafa had even less success in Rome where he was out of the competition as soon as the third round, this time losing to Denis Shapovalov. In the last set of the match, Nadal's injury was evidently a big problem. Nadal is arriving to his favorite Grand Slam tournament, Roland Garros, with probably the worst string of results on clay in his whole career. He wasn't able to win a single tournament on clay, and his win to loss ratio is 3 to 2, which is very bad for Rafa's standards. Along with this, Nadal has a very tough draw since his quarterfinal opponent could be Novak Djokovic, while his potential semi final adversary could be Carlos Alcaraz. Taking all this into consideration, the tennis community for the first time in a long time is not considering Rafael Nadal to be the favorite in Paris. Even he himself has confirmed this. I don't think I am the favorite at all. Uh... Despite all this, one should certainly have in mind that Nadal has won an incredible 13 trophies at the French Open and he should never be written off especially not at a tournament where he has only 3 losses and an incredible 105 wins. That's it for today's video, let me know your thoughts on Rafa Nadal. A question I would like to see answered in the comments is what do you think Nadal's performance in Paris will be like and will he manage to lift that 14th trophy in Paris? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video, bye!